Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 4 of Corvette. And in this episode, we're continuing on with the career mode, and we're continuing on to the C4 amateur career. We got five more races to do here, and we are starting at Ghost Rock Mine Alternate East. Is that the same place that was... Ah, it was the same one, okay. But yeah, we're gonna go here, and of course, win. And for these, we have a 1995 Corvette convertible, which is pretty nice. Pretty cool. Did I unlock, did I unlock the color? Uh, did I unlock that? Maybe. You know what, I'm gonna do something different, and we're gonna go with a regular color, and I'm gonna go with... You know, we're gonna go with the classic torch red. See all the info for this car there. Ooh. Exterior so system with CD, Delco Bows. Ooh. Most popular exterior paint option was torch red, of course. Stuff and things. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue. We don't have any upgrades, of course, for the PlayStation 2, which I believe Golden, Golden's. Oh, my face frozen. Why is, I, why is my face freezing? Hello? Face? Hello? You okay there, bud? Alright. Uh, for some reason, I was having difficulties of the technical sort. So we will try this again. Um, I think, I don't know exactly where I was with where I was mentioning things. Uh, but I've learned some things about this game between recording the last episodes and now because I looked things up. And uh, I learned while Steel Monkeys uh, developed this game for, I think, all platforms? Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe not the one. Uh, this released on Game Boy Advance before it released on Xbox and PC. And Xbox to PC was November of 03. Then it released on PS2 uh, in 2004. Don't know exactly when, because I don't remember specifically, because it didn't stick in my brain. Um, but yeah, the PS2 version came out like the next year after the Xbox and PC version and GameCube version. Or Ga not GameCube, Game Boy Advance. By the way, it's Game Boy Advance. My face still looks kind of laggy. I don't know what's going on there. Um, it is a anniversary or a, uh, a pace car version. I drove one of those. That's fun. But uh, anyways, yeah. I was just trying to say some shit like that and then my face was like, nope, I'm not gonna move. And I don't know why. I reset my computer and it's kind of better. It doesn't look perfect though. I don't think I should be having that many issues with my computer while recording a 20 year old game, but who knows. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Uh, I think I completely lost in my train of thought there, or like mixed up two things. What I was trying to say was that, well, another thing, I guess, whatever. So TDK Media Active, Media Active, however you say it, uh, published this game in, or for Xbox, PC, and the Game Boy Advance, and the uh, PS2 version was actually published by Global Star Software which I believe also published Ford Racing 3, if I'm right. Uh, maybe some other Ford Racing games, I'm not entirely sure, but it's a fun, interesting little piece of information, I guess. And I've learned that Steel Monkeys, uh, they're based out of Canada, or Russia, or Scotland, I believe. And I believe this one was made by the people in Scotland, this game. I don't know, there's not a whole lot of information out there. I was trying to look it up and there's not really much information. Um, and I don't think Steel Monkeys is really doing anything anymore. I think, I think, I don't know if it's their website that's actually still up. Um, but it doesn't seem to be the correct thing. But I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'd have to put more, more, or more, look to, more time into looking at it. I can't talk, by the way. It is currently 3 a.m. and I, have lost the ability to talk or think. I mean, I've never had the ability to think, but talking, I sometimes can do. But yeah, I guess that makes sense of why the Xbox version and the PC version of this game are very similar, is because they were released at the same time, unlike the PS2 version, which was released after. And I don't know why they changed the music, or at least the main menu song. I have no idea. That is completely unknown to me. 
But yeah. Interesting little Corvette trivia. Corvette game trivia. And I guess that means that maybe maybe someday I'll try and figure out how to do the Game Boy Advance version and make videos of it. I have been slightly thinking about doing Game Boy Advance uh, versions of games for Let's Plays, but I don't think I want to do it quite yet because I don't want to... I, I would feel stupid if I do it then now because I know my buddy Ryan, Rhino PC4, is also doing uh, Game Boy versions of Need for Speed games at the moment, and I don't know. I'll always wait until he's like taking care of that, I guess. I don't know. My brain's weird. I ain't trying to do the exact same thing as another person, basically. Anyways. My face still seems to be working fine, so that's cool. There we go, eight seconds ahead of last place. We got a Lingenfelter Heavy Duty Clutch Assembly, GM Performance Handling Package, and Gold Strand gl Gas Slotted Front and Rear Rotors. Gas Slotted? I don't know what that means. And we also unlocked the track for Quick Race, which is cool. We'll go ahead and continue on to our second race here. And yeah, we're not unlocking paints anymore, so I guess we will use just different paints available for the car, because I'm pretty sure I used that gold in the last episode, or in, yeah, in the last episode. So. Ooh, oil rigs. I see those around where I live, actually. Kind of. The virtual Midwest. <laughs> I think my my computer is struggling. I'm not entirely sure why. No, not right before the end. God damn it! <laughs> well, there's our first restart of the fucking let's play. Of course, I had to like basically spin at the very end. Of course. Let's try this again real quick. We got wind turbines. We got cows. We got. Dairy farm off to the left there. I think this is. Well, that's oil rigs. I, this, I guess that's oil uh, silos, I guess you call those. I'm pretty sure those are dairy ones off to the right there. I don't know. I know a little bit about the country. I, I've been around it a lot, so. <laughs> Got like ranch. Yeah, that's basically all I went over. Uh, well, talking about this game, besides the fact that. Also, this game, uh, while looking it up, I've learned that this game was not well received, uh, or not very well received. I mean, 5 out of 10 ain't bad, I guess, but it ain't good either. <laughs> and that is the scores that this game got from most of the critics back in 03 and 04, I guess. So, yeah, not the greatest. What are you doing, OBS? What, is, what the hell? Is car trying to pass me? Nobody can pass me. I do believe there is some sort of... Not crazy, but a little bit of uh, rubber banding in this game. Definitely seems like it, at least. I feel like I'd be a lot further ahead if there wasn't. I don't know. Dirt path. World's biggest steaks. Tasty. Last lap. New lap record. Ooh. hear much of the song, but oh well. The car do be pretty loud. It does have a 6-speed. I, mean, I would expect it to if it has 5-speeds. But it surely does have a 6-speed. I like that there's a little thing in, when you start the game. It's like, while we did look at the authenticity, or did try to do really well with the authenticity or something of uh, the Corvettes in this game, they may not be exactly specifically uh, spot on for all the details, but 
from what I've seen, besides like maybe better 3D modeling, there's not really a whole lot they could do to make them more accurate. I think they did a good job. Especially for being possibly out of Scotland. It's interesting. And this is why I'm like, I, I would want to know more about like the development process of this game or these games in general. It's like, I don't actually know if they use the, the studio in Scotland to make this game. I don't know. Anyways, we got ported cylinder head, uh, cylinder heads, I would hope. Not just one. Goes trans tubular sway bars and Fisk, Fisk Mach 5 wheels. All right, um, we'll go ahead and continue. We got an airbase race, ooh. Ooh, look at those wheels though. Uh, we'll go with a, you know, we'll do a nice green. A very nice green, it was very nice. Looks like we're back at the airbase again. Not a huge amount of traction in this game, but at least the ones that it does have are usually pretty unique from each other. Hey, look, it's the intro song. Oh, we got the, uh, the pace car in here again. That's fun. I think the pace car actually had the the color of the that I would that I used for the last race in this car. I really cannot talk right now. My brain is spaghettios. Uh, yeah, that color is is the top color on that pace car Corvette. I'm pretty sure. Kind of a purplish, colorish kind of thingy ish. Ah! Oh, I didn't shift down all the way. Seems like if I shift too fast, or if I press the button too fast, it does not want to shift um, more than once. I'm learning. Interesting. I want to pass you. 86, what is that what you are? 89. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty good song, honestly. Airplane, go big fast. I'm shifting the sixth gear for ultimate maximum overdrive. Not really. It did not help me go any faster. Ah, hello everybody. Ow. What the hell? Inception. Screen and the screen and screen and screen. Look at the gauges some more. My C5 Corvette gauges. I do like that it also has all of the other gauges too, like oil pressure, oil temperature. I think there's regular temperature. Yeah, there's definitely regular temperature and oil temperature. Also, I'm pretty sure the uh, the speedometer on a C4 Corvette does not update that fast. I think it takes like a second to update. I think that's other cars I'm thinking of with digital dashes. Ah, I know that my Chrysler LeBaron 1990 with digital gauges does not update quickly at all. Like, you, st you floored it, and that's not a fast car. Uh, if you floored it from a stop and just started going, it would go like 0, 8, 14 without showing any of the numbers in between because it wouldn't update fast enough. Digital gauges of the 80s and 90s are very intriguing, to say the least. I appreciate them. I feel like I can get my head chopped off with those. Kind of dangerous, not gonna lie. Especially because I'm in a convertible. That's kind of terrifying. Oh, hello there. Hi, how, how's it going? What did you come from? Zero one? I hope not. Later, nerd. See, there it is on the acceleration. I don't, I don't know. I just accelerate and just go faster than the AI for some reason. I don't really know why. Who fucking knows? Because I sure don't. Please tell me in the comments if you know. I am not that far ahead. I'm used to being a lot further ahead in these races so far. Banger. I hear it. I 
I don't know if the race is getting any longer than this either in this game. I don't know if they go much over three laps besides like some of the special modes maybe. I don't know. It do be a banger. I am quite far ahead, it seems. I like it. There we go. The race is done. Uh, should I get a thumbnail of this race? So that's three out of five. We'll do it on the next race. Because I think I already have a thumbnail on this track. We got LPE Lingenfelter. Performance Engineering, I think. Uh, aluminum Flywheel. Goldstrand Racing Springs. And Semi Racing Tires. Very nice. We'll do the fourth race here at Angel Hills Alternate East. And I will go with... Uh, you know what? Admiral Blue, Admiral Blue sounds pretty good. We have a level four too at 360 points. Very cool. Ah, we are back in the city area, I see. Oh, my face is having issues again. Or it was, at least. I don't know why. I really don't, because... Things seem to be working okay, so I, I don't know. I guess I'll just try and get through this race and then hope that my face sticks around. It is not doing a very good job at it so far. I apologize. I don't know what's causing it, specifically. It is really frozen. What the hell? I want my face to move. Oh god. Just gotta make this one more race. One last race. Oh, that's my mistake. Oh god. Now, my nose itch is really bad. It is a sign that my face is not doing well. Just go. Just go, Corvette. Alright, three minutes, I can handle that. Problem fixed. Ah, oh, jeez. You little bastard. No. I will out accelerate you. Ah, oh, jeez. Ow. Go away, green boys, all of them. Why are all of them right here? Go away, little bastards. race in first place. Oh, car show time. I love car shows. Why is my face so busted? And I actually have a solid first for once, right before the end of the race. Nice. Alright, my face is extremely frozen. I should probably try and figure that out. But anyways, there's our results. We have our last upgrades. LT4 engine, gold strand suspension lowering kit, and racing slicks. Car is now fully upgraded, and we've also knocked that track. 
And while we watch the replay, I will try and figure out what's wrong with my face. Because I would like to know. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to continue, but I am going to take a quick five to uh, try and fix things real quick. So, I'm going to save, not load. Yes, I will overwrite that. And sure, I'll save over my, my backup as well, I guess. I'll be back in a second. Alright, I think we're back. I think I might have figured out what the problem is. I, uh, I think the game was taking too much of my computer stuff. Uh, it was running at like 400 and something frames per second, and now I've capped it to 60, so hopefully that will cause OBS to not want to die. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, composition yellow, why not? We got our final upgrades, and my face is already frozen. <laughs> I guess I did not fix the problem. Oh well, I guess. Why... Uh, why does a 20-year-old low-budget racing game fuck with me so th this bad. Like, how? I, I don't get it. Anyways, I guess I'm just having frozen face for this. I apologize. I can just be, be a PNG tuber for <laughs> a race, I guess. We're under our one-on-one. One -one. Oh, that was It's like somehow this game was using like 30% of my RTX 3080, and I don't think that's how that works, Chief. And I think it's still trying, it still is trying to. And I don't really know how to stop it from doing so, is also a problem. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll try and look into it or something. Thankfully, there's no information at all on the piece supported for this game, so. I can't actually look up specific things relating to the PC port, and that'll be that. Uh, I'll just have to figure it out on my own, I guess. I do that all the time anyways. Oh, jeez. Trains, tracks. Oh, God. I really do be frozen, don't I? Damn. I can definitely see if I can try and update some things too. I think I have a graphics driver update that I have yet to apply. Try that. We'll see. I'll figure it out, maybe. Hopefully. Maybe I will have to become a PNG tuber for this let's play. This is a song I don't think I've heard yet, too. And a track maybe I haven't driven on? I'm not sure. It sure is a track, to say the least. Well, shortcut. It'll be a shortcut time. We have three laps on this, by the way, so it's going to be a moderately longer race. Six minutes and some change, somewhere around there. Also, no cops yet, which is interesting. Ah! There is traffic though, that's for sure. Goddamn traffic. Shortcut. I guess you can call this a shortcut. Oh, shortcut. Hey, it's the intro song again. Oh, there's a cor cop, cor car, car, Corvette cop. Goodbye, friend. You will not catch me. Oh, you're not really falling behind, though. I'm surprised. Yeah, damn. I am 14 seconds ahead, though. Oh, okay. I guess the cor the uh, we're trying to stick Corvette instead of cop. Cop gave up. We'll have to deal with that cop again on lap 3, I guess, so. That'll be nice. 
Unless the cop goes past the finish line, which I don't think they will. I'm seeing it as at least uh, probably not, if I had to guess. I love being a slideshow. Why the hell am I a slideshow? What's happening, computer? Oh. I think it definitely has to be something to do with the game. I don't think there's any way it's not the game fucking with it, but I don't know why. But whatever. I'll fix it later. You laugh record. Wow. Line is somewhere around here. I don't know where the cop is either. Maybe the cop left. Went home. Good night. Well, I still have half a minute to this lap too, so that's probably not helping. Second, the finish line is literally right about here. There it is. All right, Shin Lee has failed once again. I can move again. I don't understand it. I guess I'll see what I can do to fix that. And we got our little ending video here for C4 of our 95 Corvettes in three different colors. Hey, look, it's purple. This is very nice. All right. And there's our trophy for getting all the C4 amateur crew races done. And car is fully upgraded, of course. We have unlocked circuit endurance mode, which again will come later in the Let's Play. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and continue, and there we go. There's all but five of the amateur career races done. And of course, the last five will happen in the next episode. Go ahead and save, make sure this is all good. Save. I don't know why I keep going over one. Uh, but yeah, there's our trophy. We are at 9.6% of the game done. And I guess that'll be it for this episode. I'm not a slideshow anymore, which is nice. But anyways, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Corvette. And I shall see you all in the next one.